Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with some more easy, lazy, slow cooker recipes for you. I've got three on the way. These are all so simple to make. I have literally just popped down to the supermarket, put a few things in packets and thrown them in. So if like me, maybe you're a bit short of time, maybe you're trying to cut back on the odd takeaway, or you just want to have a day where you don't really have to think about cooking your evening meal, then these are for you. They're also all available to do as vegetarian options as well, or you could switch up some ingredients to make them vegan. So you can really make these your own. I'm just doing them to kind of inspire you and show you how easy it is to cook a decent cozy meal, quite healthy. It's got a couple of your five a day in most of them as well. Um, yeah, with minimal effort. I'm talking a tiny bit of chopping, opening some tins, that sort of vibe. So if that's of interest to you, keep on watching. If it's Sunday when you're watching this and you've just tuned in, then let me know how the weather is where you are. It seems like we are having storms every single weekend here in the UK. So these are really ideal if you just want a really cozy, homely meal to look forward to in the evening. All of the ingredients are really easy to find in your favorite supermarket. You could, in fact, pop down there today and get the stuff for one of these. And by the time you've got home, whacked it all on, four hours later, you'll be in for a really nice meal this evening. So I hope it gives you some inspiration. I hope you enjoy the video. Before we get into it, if you're new here, do click subscribe. I post videos every week and give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And if you make any of these, let me know how you get on. Okay, let's get started with the first recipe. The first thing we're going to be making is this really easy korma. Let me know what we should call it. Should we call it a naughty chickpea korma? So for the curry, I'm using 300 grams of corn pieces. These are £1.69. A jar of this korma cooking sauce, which is 59p. A tin of chickpeas, which was 45p. And half a sweet potato. The sweet potato was 52p, so we'll call that 26p. I'm going to chop up the sweet potato first of all. And I'm just roughly dicing it, or cutting it into chunks, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> you are my sunshine on a rainy day. So we'll throw all of those in. You are the one who takes my breath away. In the vast guys of love, I'm free. As long And I'm going to add the corn. I always go for this kind of can with chickpeas just because it makes opening them so much quicker and easier. And when we are doing easy meals, saving time is just really handy. Let's give those a good rinse. I just rinse them in the tin. Again, it's just easier. Some of you may want to keep the chickpea water because I know you can use it in other recipes in place of egg white. But we're going to add the chickpeas into that. And then finally the korma cooking sauce. And I'll usually add a little bit of water into here and then give that a shake with the lid on just to get all of it out. I'm just going to give that all a quick stir around. I've decided to go in with another jar of the sauce just because there's quite a lot in here and I don't want it to get too dry so I'm going to add that now. And that is literally it for this one. You can leave that for four hours and it can do its thing. And then you could serve this with some rice. You could boil up some rice on the hob or maybe use some microwave rice if you want it really easy. Pop some naan breads in the oven. Or you could just have this on its own, I think, because it has got the chickpeas and the sweet potato in there. I might actually add a bit of kale once that starts cooking and add a bit of greens in there as well. Sunshine. Sunshine on a rainy 
So I've just added in some kale. This isn't cooked, so that is just going to cook for the last hour. Next up we've got a really easy sausage casserole. I'm going to use one of these sausage casserole seasoning mixes. I've got some Linda McCartney's sausages. So these are vegetarian. I've gone for the red onion and rosemary ones. I've got a tin of butter beans in water, chopped tomatoes with herbs. I'm gonna use half a sweet potato and onion, some garlic, a pepper and a few carrots, but obviously you could throw in whatever vegetables you fancy with this. And in terms of the pricing, the sausages are £1.19. This sausage casserole mix is 22p. The butter beans are 45p. The chopped tomatoes are 35p. Half a sweet potato works out around 26p. I think a pepper for a three pack is probably £1, so we'll call that 33p, maybe 20p each for each of these as well, once they're kind of broken down. So yeah, anything that you've got lying around you could throw into this, I reckon, and it would be absolutely delicious by the time it's all thrown in the slow cooker. But again, a low cost meal. So first of all, I'm going to add the tin tomatoes. So these are already chopped, so really easy. You can throw those straight into the slow cooker. And I do always add some water to these and kind of rinse them out because a little bit of liquid in there kind of doesn't hurt when you're making a casserole, so you might as well use it all up. And I'm going to add the butter beans once I've given those a rinse. Well, I just strain them through my hand because it's one less thing to wash up. So in they go. Next, I'm going to add the sausages. And I just whack those in straight from the freezer. Do check cooking instructions on whatever sausages you use if you want to go for meat ones. Just break those all up a little bit. And next up, I'm going to add the vegetables. So I'll start with the carrots. And I'll just cut them quite chunky for something like this. I'm feeling trapped down on the floor. I don't know what for. Feels like I'm gonna lose. Silence takes a hold. I can't let it go. Then I'll add the pepper. One thing I like to do is take the seeds out before I chop it. Then once those are removed, I chop it up. Just how I like to do it. Have you got any tips for me? I'm sure you probably have, <laughs> watching me wing it. But I won't let the stormy seas Throw me in open water Let me have my peace And leave me till tomorrow Wind into my sail Away from things I let go Floating on the waves We go bottoms up We go all the way When you're feeling down Probably take a bit more onion than what I'm using, so feel free to go mad with this. But I'm just going to use um, one for today. But yeah, I reckon you could throw throw in a few. Maybe go for white onion as well. Just had, happen to have red onion in. Look at me making an absolute pig's ear of this because I'm doing it on camera. Actually, that's such an excuse. I'd make a pig's ear of it if I wasn't doing it on camera. But it just doesn't help the fact that you're all watching and probably judging my onion chopping technique at the moment. But we'll just go with it. These are meant to be easy recipes that anyone can do, so <laughs> if I can do it, then you can do it. I'm going to chop this up quite chunky and just throw it in like that. We're not um, going to mess around today. The great thing about the slow cooker is once you whack things in there, it's like a miracle. It just comes out absolutely fine. So then we're going to bang in a garlic again. Oh, no technique going on here, I just chop it up. Do watch your fingers. Once I've peeled each garlic, I'm going to throw those in as well. I love loads of garlic. Do you like lots of garlic or are you not so keen? I feel like, again, when it's in a slow cooker, it's kind of something that you can't really go wrong with. Just have as little or as much as you like. Whatever you fancy, really. Other things you could throw into this 
I'm thinking different bean varieties could be quite nice. You could definitely throw in some different vegetables if you fancied. Right at the end before you serve it, you could always throw in a few greens as well. If you want to get a few greens in there. My hands are going to absolutely stink today. And I've got lots going on, so apologies to anybody that I meet today and have um, interactions with because my hands are going to stink. I'm just going to peel this sweet potato and I'm going to throw that in um, roughly chopped up as well. I used to work in a pub and it was my job to do this on a Sunday, but with normal, like regular potatoes in a bowl of water, it was so grim. Like at the end of it, my hands used to be like sponges. <laughs> and I know my peeling technique's weird as well, but let's just go with it. because that's how I do it. And again, I'm going quite chunky with this because you can leave this on all day in the slow cooker, so. And that is literally it. Now all I'm going to do is add the casserole seasoning mix to 300 ml of cold water. So we'll whack that in. Don't worry if there's any lumps in it, they will just disappear in the slow cooker. And I'm gonna add that in, which has topped up the liquid to here, as you can see, so that should pretty much cover all of it, which is lovely. And we'll just pop the lid on. I'm gonna switch it on to high because there's quite a lot in here and also with the sausages being frozen, I want to get that going. But do just follow the cooking instructions. You can always Google um, how long things take in the slow cooker. And yeah, honestly, you can't really go wrong. As long as everything's cooked in there, it's gonna be in there for a few hours. So I'll leave that cooking for the day and have that this evening. making a vegetarian chili. So for the chili we're going to be using some corn mince. You could of course use some minced meat if you prefer. I've got some of this chili con carne seasoning mix. This is 23p. I think these are about £1.50 when they're on offer but I can't remember I'm afraid. Um, we've got chili con carne cooking sauce. This one is 59p. I've got some chopped tomatoes that I got from Sainsbury's. I can't remember how much those are, but I think you can get a tin of chopped tomatoes for around 35p. A couple of red onions. We've got a tin of red kidney beans, which are 30p. And we have some sweet corn, which is 37p. Again, I've gone for the easy access lids, which is always really handy when you're doing the lazy cooking. And yeah, so we're just gonna whack open these jars, wash these off, throw it all in and we have our chili, good to go. I go in with the sauce first, just so that nothing burns. I mean, nothing really burns in there, but just so nothing sticks to the base. And I just added a bit of water into the jar, just to get the remainder of that out. Now I'm going to add the kidney beans, which I've just rinsed in the can. I'm going to add the tin of sweet corn. I don't know if this is common. Oh, I should probably drain that. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad at this. I'm doing like easy cooking and I get it wrong. Just tipped a load of sweet corn liquid in there. Yuck, right, let me go and drain this. It's okay, nobody's going to die. Then I'm going to add the chopped tomatoes. Again, another packet which is easy access, which we like. No faffing. I'm wearing a white jumper, so look out. You know what's gonna happen. I'm standing back. I can feel my body cold against the concrete, but I can't seem to get enough. My mind is fixed on what it wants. I just let you beat me. Look can be deceiving. Let you get the best of me. In bed with my worst enemy. This is a no go. I just can take cold. This is a danger zone. Back up and get me home. I'm going to add a couple of chopped onions. I've just roughly chopped those up. And then we'll add the chili seasoning mix. Before 
adding in the corn mince. It's all right, I just nearly poked the knife into my stomach. Nearly went into my belly button, but let's just pretend that didn't happen off camera. I don't know why I'm telling you, because I could have got away with that. Right, that's going in. I appreciate this looks very unappealing. It looks like it's full of ice. I don't know what's going on in my freezer. Don't worry, it'll melt. Oh man, it's full of lumps. I'm just gonna poke that down a bit. <laughs> oh, bet you're glad you tuned into this. Doesn't that look delicious? Don't worry, it'll all be fine when it's had a few hours. So that is it, all we're gonna do now, just make sure it's all roughly covered. We're gonna pop it on. I'm gonna go for a high heat today, just because I'm doing this quite late in the day. So I only want it to go on for a few hours. So I'm gonna switch it on to high. Remember to always put the lid on. <laughs> I have forgotten in the past. And trust me, you don't want to be doing that. So I'm going to leave that for a few hours. That's going to do its thing. And that is simply all there is to it. You can serve it later on with some rice. You could do microwave rice if you fancy being lazy, which if you've tuned into this video, you might well. Also, you can pick up some nice sweet potato fries to have as a little side, or maybe just whack some garlic bread in the oven. Right, we'll leave that for a bit and I'll catch you when it's done. This is a danger zone. Back up and get me home. This is a no-go, I just can't take hold This is a danger zone, back up and get me So put your hand in mine, follow me Let me waste your time, sell a beat, do some stupid shit There we go, I really hope you enjoyed these easy, lazy, slow cooker recipes. Do let me know how you get on if you make any of these. And let me know if you've got any suggestions for things that I can make in my slow cooker in the comments down below. I love reading all of your comments. You always give me the best ideas. So thank you so much if you are a returning commenter. I do always read them all and I really appreciate you giving me your ideas down there and sharing them with everybody else as well because there's always lots of interesting stuff down in the comments. So feel free to drop me one. I'd love to read it later on. Do click subscribe if you are new here. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you are watching this on Sunday, I hope the weather's all right where you are, but if you're having a cozy day in, then enjoy that as well. I'm gonna be back in the week. I've got a come shopping with me. We are hitting Matalan to check out their new homeware. So that's on its way very soon and lots more things are on the way, including the return of the Poundland DIY. So I'll catch you very soon. Thank you so much for watching and have, I've done the end wrong. I can't say catch you very soon because I'll say see you soon, goodbye. Let's do that bit again. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.